The Legacy Ministry of Youth and Social Development has commenced the 2024 Ibila Youth Academy as part of a comprehensive month-long series of leadership training activities. The Ibila Youth Academy is an intensive training that cuts across five divisions of the state, Ikurdu, Badagri, Ikaja, Lagos Island, and Ekbe, with the aim of equipping the youths with the skills needed to compete globally. Part of the activities lined up for the week-long program include leadership training by experienced facilitators from various fields. Ikeja Division Youth Ambassador Peter Anishere, who is a product of the Bila Youth Academy, commended the Lagos State Government for creating such an initiative for youth to thrive and urged the participants to be open-minded and implement the knowledge gained to further develop themselves and society at large. Ten persons will be selected here, which will later go to a training camp. So from this training camp, then they would have each person selected to represent each division. So from Ikeja here, you would have one person out of the ten to be their divisional team lead. One person from Epe, one person from Ikuru, one person from Baragri, one person from Lagos Division, and then a central state ambassador. So those six persons are going to be their team leads, while all other persons that have attended this training will be their team members, and they would, you know, go back to you know, educate the general public and to get younger persons about you know, safety in the environment, drug abuse issues, sexual and gender-based violence, um, the importance of boy child, girl child, other developmental things that you can have in them. One of the facilitators, Uluwashil Obador, tasked the participants on active and continuous learning to improve their ideas, thereby becoming the best in their different endeavors. There are so many organizations and bodies that they can be part of, like Bile Youth, that will help them and give them a proper bearing foundation to upskill whatever business venture they are doing. So they have to be part of a community, an organization that will be their support system in this. Then another message I would have for them is, I already spoke about joining communities and people that are already, bodies that are already in entrepreneurship. And I would say they should start, wherever they are, start. Some of the participants are Yomide Aino and Emmanuel Olu, who commended the initiative, expressed optimism that the Ibila Youth Academy will help improve their leadership skills and develop society. I had asked a couple of questions from persons whom I know participated in the last cohort or in the previous cohort, and they were just telling me, oh, it's just you just have to be commonsensical and be confident about it. And I mean, getting here and not being briefed on all of those things just comes as a surprise, and it makes it something that I'm really glad to be part of. I intend to uh, use the Ibile Youth Academy or amplify my work for greater impact. The Ibile Youth Academy is, is an avenue where young minds come together to grow in their thoughts and to contribute to the society. To thank the government for creating this avenue for, for young ones like us. It will interest you to know that over 3,763 applications were submitted out of which 1,228 applicants scaled through the rigorous selection process. The state government will conduct a receipt of the Basic Education Certificate Examination, BECE, for Wednesday, 6th of November. This was contained in a statement signed by the Director, Lagos State Examinations Board, Adebayo Orusholu. Affected schools are to commence registration of their students who failed English studies or mathematics or both, or the sum of 3,000 naira only per candidate through the Lagos State Examinations Board. Examinations Board's portal on https dot four, double, double four slash pay dot exam board dot com dot ng with the username and password generated while following the guidelines outlined on the portal. Orishalu urged the authorities of the affected schools to treat the matter as urgent, stating that excuses will not be tolerated. He added that the examination will be conducted at the selected designated centers across the six education districts of the state. And just before we go drive slowly, use your windshield wipers and turn on your headlights when driving in the rain. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms on X at Traffic Radio 961, and Facebook Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM, Instagram at Lagos Traffic Radio 961, on YouTube, subscribe and watch us live on our channel. Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website on www.trafficradio961.com.
www.ghanaspeaks.ng. Did you know that the Songwulu administration received the reviewed version of Lagos Tourism Master Plan 2020 to 2030? You can get more details on the Lagos State Government website. For contact with the newsroom, please send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. And that ends the news broadcast compiled by Adewayo Iduwalaya. I am Akan Usen. Thanks for listening and please stay safe. Good evening. the dial that helps you navigate through Lagos traffic with ease. We, we are the 96.1 dial. Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM. Moving Lagos forward. Hey. It's Steve on the beat. <laughs> Many bad 